So I think we have about 8.1 billion people in the world now, and that's forecast to hit about 9.7 billion by 2050. So we've got a big problem. Uh, food production has to increase, has to increase by about between 50 and 60% more than what it is now. Um, but the problem is when you increase productivity, greenhouse gas emissions go up. My name's Associate Professor Matthew Harrison. I work at the Tasmanian Institute of Agriculture in Launceston and I'm the leader of the systems modelling team. Well, I grew up on a farm in northwestern Victoria and my parents still farm there now. And uh, the climate is changing fast and it's impacting on food production. A lot of the work that we do addresses that problem, try to reduce greenhouse gas emissions or maintain while improving food production and food security on the other hand. The Carbon Storage Partnership is part of a national aspiration to reduce greenhouse gas emissions of the red meat sector, so mainly beef and sheep, to net zero by 2030. To give you an idea, we're about 55 or 50 million tonnes of CO2 equivalents per year now from the livestock sector, so we've got to reduce that to zero. At the end of the day, farms are businesses, so they have to make money. So we're working with them to change their production systems so that they improve carbon storage in the soil or in vegetation and or they reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Yeah, we, we look a lot at uh, enablers and barriers to adoption as well. So we sort of look at co-benefits and trade-offs associated with the change to the farm system. And those co-benefits and trade-offs are economic, environmental, social and even psychological. A future for Tasmania would be for Tasmania to be a national and international exemplar in sustainable, profitable and inclusive farming systems. And that would be low emissions, that would be a niche, market niche in producing high value foods, horticulture, cropping, livestock systems with low emissions and in an inclusive way.